Well, hidey ho there, YouTube viewers. Welcome to Captain Day Sport Fishing YouTube channel here in Jacksonville, Florida. It is now a beautiful day. Sunny, warm. <sighs> you know, when you live on a really thin state, let's say this vice on the old wicked edge is Florida. <laughs> You know how fast the weather passes across? I mean, you get like, okay, here comes rain, boom, and then right behind it is pure sunshine. So, what do I got for you today? I was going to do this out on my back porch, but the light was for crap out there. So, I had to come on in to the wolf den where all the magic happens. <laughs> I have another buck for you. That's right, you. You need to know more about buck knives. See that? <laughs> well, that is, that's a buck knife, folks. Some of the old timers have probably seen these. It says right there, Buck Whitaker. And what is this? This is referred to as the Buck Whitaker Revolution. This was in collaboration, as they say, designed by Peter Whitaker. He was a mountaineer. You know, him and uh, Buck... They got together and designed a whole bunch of Whitaker designs all wrapped around one hand, mountaineering, uh, you know, maybe something that could be like a safety knife. A small you know, little EDC type thing. This was about 2003, 2004. The Revolution. All right, I'll open it up and I'll show you. It's got this button right here. And then, well, I'm actually holding it on the wrong side. You'd push this button right there and it would flip around and lock up. And it's got, it's got a really nice blade. I mean, this has never been used. It's got a little jimping for the jimping folks there. Serrations, half serrated blade, half plain. Kind of, what would you call that? A spear point kind of a blade, right? Relative thickness, very, very thick for its size, I believe, right up in here. Uh, aluminum they all these came in blue green purple orange gray and these were produced at the California El Cajon buck factory back in those days so it's kind of neat it's probably getting into the you know kind of collector item type thing and that's the reason why I have one but you know I don't like beat up junk so I tried to find me an absolute pristine Whitaker design with Buck and I ran across this thing and it is straight out of the box and as a matter of fact here is the box there you go. There's the actual tag, the number, and it has this neat little thing on it. It says right there, winner of the 2003 Blade Show, most innovative American design. Well, back in the early 2000s, it was kind of like Beanerville. You know what Beanerville is? When everything seemed to have a carabiner on it. So these are many times referred to 
as beaner knives. Because there's your carabiner. I don't really... It, it does work when you I drop it in my pocket and it clips into the edge of my pocket, just like a pocket clip. And, you know, go back, go back a ways, folks, and remember when almost everything had to have a goddamn beer opener? <laughs> you got the beaner going on here, the caro beaner, and then you got yourself your pop topper. All right, so there was that time in knives and tools and stuff where a lot of things, was, people were fascinated back then with a carabiner clip for some reason. I noticed it, and I never really got it myself. But this one has it on there, and it's got the bottle opener. Very, very well made. I mean, it's just very well made. It's got a cool profile, the button. Okay, which way is it going to open? Okay, it's going to open that way, and the carabiner goes down. It locks in. Carabiner's not in your way. And it's got a really, it's got a good feel, very simplistic design. You know, nice pocket knife. These things are wicked sharp. Like I said, jimping. And that's it. I mean, it's just a pocket knife that's very unique. It's, I like this. You know, there's a lot of stuff on these detents on knives today. They're just not, the knife just doesn't go up in and stay there as much as I'd like it to on, a, on many knives today. I don't know. It's all about that, you know, flicking and all that kind of stuff, I guess. But I like, you know, mid-lock, back locks. I like the um, Andrew Demko, uh, what a, triad locks. I like something to lock up. And when you got something that really locks up, it stays locked up. And this one really just sucks right on in. Bam. It's like it's it's almost like it's spring fed going back in. 420HC. Nothing fancy. Just a good old plain old buck steel. Uh says buck right there. And then I was looking at it and I was like, damn, these things are made in the United States. Where does it say it? Well, you have to open it up. And then it has the model number right there. 437T USA. So, I thought I'd share this with you. It's part of my buck collection. And uh, very unique, I thought. Very unique. I mean, look at the centering on that is absolutely perfection. It's just a cool knife. There's just a cool factor to this in my mind. It's almost like, you know, it's almost bally songish, right? But you can't you can't do much with it. Is this, you know, you push the button, you could, let's see, what could you do? You can't really do much. I think that's how you're supposed to open it, like that. I'm holding it in the wrong place, <laughs> but I think that's how you're supposed to hold it. I, you know, like I said, these really, this whole Whitaker design thing, it had its time. But, you know, reading on different forums and stuff, that's why they called them beaner knives. Because I guess people think carabiner. They think mountain climbing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in Florida. There ain't no mountains. The biggest damn mountain around here is called the landfill. <laughs> We're flatlanders. So when I think of a carabiner, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't stoke up any thoughts of mountaineering to me so 
But there you go. I thought I'd pass that on. The old, the old buck uh, box that had the paperwork in there and that sticker on there that was the 2003 most innovative American design. Just another buck for the collection. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the wolf den on the next one. Come on.